This is a revisit of the Sim vs. Dim video. Uh, apparently the only thing I got right in that video was I did tell you that it was single inline memory modules versus dual inline memory modules. And this was brought to my attention by Mickey Ty Mike. I hope I got this right, Mickey Ty Mike. Anyway, uh, because I screwed up so badly, I will go ahead and leave the other video up there, but I will leave a link to this one so that people can come over here and find out the real story. Okay, first thing we're going to talk about here is the dual inline package. This was called a dip chip, and I do happen to remember the old dip chips. They had pins that came out of here like this, and what happened was you had to solder the pins to the board. And I'll tell you what, Anybody that really wasn't good at soldering just didn't build motherboards back at that time. And that was a real pain in the butt. Okay, So what would happen is the CPU, when it wanted to access the random access memory or the read-only memory, because these dip chips were also applied to read-only memory, and they applied to other things as well. What would happen is the CPU would send a signal through these pins into the me memory, the memory core right across here. Now, I'm sure if you really look to some of your older calculators or very old computers, you'd still find these dip chips uh, anymore. They just don't exist uh, unless, unless you're dealing with really old technology. They have since been repl replaced with single inline memory modules. And, of course, these single inline memory modules were then replaced with dual inline memory modules. Okay, the reason for this is, like I said, if you wanted to add new memory to a computer supporting dip chips, you had to solder it in. What a pain! Well, they changed the pins to a uh, metallic strip. And so instead of having a whole bunch of pins you had to solder in, you had this metallic strip and you stuck it into this special slot. And let me tell you something, when computers were adding more and more and more RAM, just, just tons of it, you'd want the metallic strip. A lot easier to put in than to try to stick those pins into the, into the motherboard. You stick it wrong, boy, you're really fried. So, um, basically, when you're dealing with um, single inline memory modules or dual inline memory modules, what would happen is the CPU would signal, send a signal to the metallic strip, and then that metallic strip would send a signal to the um, memory chips, which were... Um, now, I have noticed it depends on what computer you have because um, when it came to the SIMS, usually the memory was on one side. Uh, when it came to the DIMMs, uh, they started out with a two-sided uh, memory thing going on, and then apparently now it's all on one side again. Uh, but I do remember the double-sided um, memory modules and um, just because DIMM does not define that they're double-sided uh, does not mean that there weren't any double-sided DIMM modules. Okay, So um, the thing with the single inline memory module is that the there were two strips, one on one side, one on the other, and if one side failed, the other side could still interact with the computer until it failed too. With the dual inline memory modules, uh, if one size fails, your your memory stick is done, pretty much, and that's because they are sticking so much memory now onto the uh, RAM the the RAM memory modules that uh, uh, they they have to make everything uh, it just becomes a mess. Uh, but the most important thing to remember is that there is a metallic strip on the bottom, and I, I showed you the chip in the last video, that's one of the reasons why I'm going to keep it up, but on the actual memory module that you have, and this is kind of a more modern memory module, you'll see right across here, okay, say this was your memory module here, you'd have like, uh, the, these boxes would represent your RAM like this, and you have a little metallic strip on the bottom. This metallic strip would be your uh, dual inline memory module, or in the old days, it would be your single inline memory module. And what would happen is the CPU would interface with this. This would then interface with this. 
And I explain this a lot better in the CAS latency and uh, RAS latency videos. So if you want to look both of those up, you're more than welcome. Anyway, I hope that cleared everything up for you. Just remember that the SIMs and DIMs were an evolution from the original DIP chips, which you actually had to solder onto your motherboard. And it was a revolution that was greatly heralded as memory increased exponentially on your computer. Okay, hopefully I haven't confused you too much. Um, I will say that um, there are single-sided RAMs. You'll find chips on one side and not, not the other. Then you'll have your double-sided RAMs. The double-sided RAMs started appearing about the same time as the dual inline memory modules appeared. That's where I got the confusion from. And hopefully that cleared everything up. And if there are any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thank you for staying with me. And I apologize for my earlier stupidity. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.